Hi everybody, it's Jenna and I'm here today with a lesson for you on the clock. So I brought some things with me. We have first here one of the clocks from the wall in our classroom you might recognize. I brought this to my house so I could show you. And I also have some things here that I printed out. So I have a cutout of a clock that you can make for yourself at home. I'm gonna show you how to do that here in a little bit. And then I also have this page that I printed out, which has two clocks on the front and two on the back. Oops, upside down. And then it also has some little lines. I'm gonna show you how to use this paper too. So you can ask for some help printing those out at home, or you can just follow along with the video and learn about the clock. So first, let's take a look at our clock from the classroom. One of the first things you'll probably notice is the numbers. Let's say those together. Start here with number one. Then it goes two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. The clock. Those numbers represent the hours on the clock. In between the numbers, you'll notice little tick marks. Let's count how many between the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. There's five little tick marks between each of the large numbers. Those tick marks represent the minutes. And in the whole hour, in one whole lap around the clock, there are 60 minutes. Now, in each minute, there are 60 seconds. The small hand there, that's ticking around and making that very quiet noise that's called the second hand, and it's ticking. It's going to tick 60 times in one minute, and then there will be 60 minutes in one hour. So we can watch the hands here on the clock as they go around to show us which hour and which minute of the day we're on. There are 24 hours all together in each day. So on this clock, the hands will go around twice. One time, and then again, once during the day and once during the night. And that will be one full day, 24 hours. 12, two times is 24. Now, up here at the top, you'll see the hands on our clock. And I'm going to control them from the back here and move them around. On the back of my clock, there's a battery. And there's this little knob. This knob is for adjusting the hands so I can turn it and make them move to set the time. So my long hand that's moving there, that's called the minute hand. It's going to point at the smaller ticks all the way at the outer edge. The large hand here that's pointing up at the 12, or the, the, the one with the large end, but that's shorter, the shorter hand is called the hour hand. It's going to point at the big numbers. So the short hand tells us the hour, and the long hand tells us the minute. And they'll go around just like so. One full lap makes one hour. So now the minute hand is pointing straight up at zero, and it's going to go around all the way to 60. And the hour hand is pointing on one. This says one o'clock. We take the minute hand around again, all the way around in a circle. Now, says two o'clock. Go around 
around once more. And it will say three o'clock. Whenever the minute hand is pointing straight up, we say o'clock. That's on the hour. Okay, let's see how to use our papers and then we can carry on talking about the clock. So I'm going to set this one aside for now. And I'm going to show you how we're going to cut out the clock and make our own. And that way we can control what does the clock say. So with my scissors, I'm going to follow the line. Doing kind of a quick job here. But you can take as long as you need to to cut out your clock. There's my clock face, just like the one here. And I'm going to cut out my arrows. I noticed that I have a long one and a shorter one. And I remember from before that the long hand is for the minutes and the short hand is for the hours. I'm going to cut them along the dotted lines there. get these ready. The other thing that you're going to need is something to pin them down with. So I decided to bring this push pin and I'm going to wedge it in the center of my table here to pin my arrows together. I'm going to make a clock. So and you could put this up on the wall at home or somewhere else handy. So I'll center my minute hand first. Maybe I'll put just through the hole there. I'll put it just here. So it's just there. You'll notice some dots. So I'll just put my minute hand on, my arrow hand onto my push pin like so. And then I'm going to push in through my clock and just give it a little wedge into the table. You could put this up on your wall, like I said, or on a bulletin board if you have one. And then you can move the hands of your clock, just as I do on here. So I'll make this clock match the one that we have. So now both of my clocks say three o'clock, the minute hand pointing north and the hour hand pointing south. So we can change our clock like so here, I'll spin it around to say four o'clock and here I'll adjust my paper clock. So you can practice this on your own and make your clock read for each of the different numbers all the way around. And if you print out many of these papers, you can practice again and again this next part I'm going to show you. So I'm going to begin making a clock booklet starting with one o'clock. So I'll make my paper clock here say one o'clock and then I'm going to draw one o'clock on my clock there. So I'll draw a long arrow pointing straight up at the 12. Make an arrow for the minute hand, like so. And then I'm going to make a shorter arrow pointing towards the one. So now I have my minute hand and my hour hand on my clock. And that is one way to show one o'clock. When you have a round clock like this, it's called an analog clock. Another way to tell time is on a digital clock. So digital clock is the kind that you might find on the oven, if you have an oven at your house. 
I don't have an oven. The only digital clock, in fact, the only clock I have besides this one from school, is the clock on my phone. So on my phone, there's a digital clock that says the time here, 1.37. And that's another way to write the time. That's called the digital time. So on the lines here, we can write the digital time that goes with 1 o'clock. So I'm going to write that. A zero and a zero. This number here shows the hours and then the numbers here show how many minutes. When it's one o'clock our minute hand is pointing straight up. That's when we say zero. So we write here zero minutes for one o'clock. Now we have our analog clock that says one o'clock and we have our digital clock. And you can go on and do the same thing for 2 o'clock, for 3 o'clock, for 4 o'clock, for 5 o'clock, for 6 o'clock, all the way around to 12 o'clock if you like. And make a whole clock look like. I hope you do. And I hope you have such a fun time working with the clock and learning how to tell time. And we'll work on some more video lessons soon on how, I, how to tell the different parts of the hour. See you next time.